uh, okay so we are going to start nse7 st van okay so let's discuss what is software defined wide area network either in short we call them sd van okay so consider sd van keep in mind previously we done cisco sd van so cisco sd van and fortinet sd van is totally different okay so let me give an example uh, one side we have a paper map and this side we have gps okay which we normally use on daily basis navigation system either google map whatever you call them so this paper map consider them the typical van which we have a link we don't know the, the jitter and delay packet loss the typical one i'm talking about so that one is same like a paper map while on the other side we have a google map so suppose if i want to go to suppose if i type google map and if i want to go any place let me uh, type any place here normally which we search so suppose i'm going to salam park from my home okay so normally we type like this and it will show you all the way let me uh, type direction so from my home to uh, this salam park or whatever so where you want to go okay so get uh, drive direction so it will show you different path whereas this one is 26 minute this one is 27 minute and uh, 9 kilometer and this one is 30 minute and it will show you this you know the red uh, there, there is a traffic this time and then this blue one and also there is another path which you can take but it will take 30 minute to reach there and there is much uh, traffic because this the, the, the red one is you know a show that there is a traffic so you can change the path dynamically and you can go and you can reach now i can reach instead of 30 minute i can reach in 26 minute and i can uh, save some minute and also a kilometer as well and there is different path and i can see all the thing on the way there, there is an hospital there is a gas station there is each and everything dynamically and i can change the path before i can reach to the destination so this is an example of sd van fortinet sd van so it will switch over automatically first i just want to discuss the analogy then i will tell you what is sd van however if you don't have such map and you print this one suppose you print this path and just print it you don't have a mobile either you don't have a google map gps navigation system so what you will do unprinted one you are going so you will stuck here maybe the road is closure there is any other things maybe there is an accident maybe there is a delay maybe there is a route closure whatever can be the reason so what you will do suppose there is a road closure here so when you reach here so you will say what the hell is this and then you will change the path after that and you will decide how to go because you don't have any alternative so you need to wait and you need to ask someone then they will give you another direction they need to print and then you can go so this is the typical one which we have a van link so this is the difference between sd van and we have the typical one okay so what this SD van will do, they will find out like a road closure and like a accident and delay and insufficient route. So SD van and real world, what they will do like a jitter, packet loss and latency. So if there is anything, so they will change automatically to the best one. This is the main difference between these two. So let's discuss what is SD van. I'm talking about the typical one which is Fortinet one because let me explain you one thing those students which done a Cisco SD van with me so we discussed that basically SD van decouple each and every part like a management control plane data plane each and everything is separate that's what we say there yeah but in this case no here each and everything is in one device yeah there is somehow like a management can be separate and 40 manager we will discuss that scenario but in most cases 
you will find control plane, data plane and management plane in one device. So don't compare Fortinet SD-WAN with Cisco SD-WAN or any other solution. Okay, so now at least you get the idea. Now let's discuss SD-WAN, Software Defined Wide Area Network. Because we use this technology for wide area, so that's why we call them SD-WAN, Software. Software will define each and everything for you. They will take a decision automatically software and they will do each and everything. That's why we call them SD-WAN. Even though we discuss in Cisco that there is SD access, there is ACI and there is SD-WAN as well. So if you need a solution on your access layer, then we have SD access. If you need a solution on your data center, then we have a ACI. But the one which we are interested is SD-WAN for wide area network. I need a solution for wide area network. So now, okay, so now we get the idea that there is a huge difference between Cisco SD-WAN and Fortinet SD-WAN. Here I will change the definition. So SD-WAN here and Fortinet is like a multi-connection WAN solution. So you have a multi-connection WAN solution which we call them SD-WAN. Basically it's like a virtual interface, virtual link. And they will group the member, the physical interfaces, the logical interfaces. They will combine them and work together. So you have more than one solution, but you combine them to work in a group. We call them SD-WAN and Fortinet. And they will work and they will check something like dynamically. They will check the jitter. They will check the packet loss. They will check the latency. We will discuss this terminology a bit later. So don't worry. This is just an introduction to SD-WAN. Now the question is how many SD-WAN we can create. So you can create and you can member by the way, let's first discuss how many we can member. So from one to two, five, five, you can combine them to work together. Minimum you need one interface. You may thinking that why we need one interface. We will discuss this scenario as well, because in the lab I will uh, deploy one interface in SD-WAN as well and more than one as well. At least you can monitor them even though this technology is for more than one so that it can work together. Okay, so this point is clear that minimum we need one interface and maximum 255 to combine them to work together. And it will create a logical interface which we call them SD-WAN. And we can create up to 4000 SD-WAN rules. Unfortunately, my it's not going to open otherwise I will show you that where we can create we will do that in practical as well. So we can create up to 4000 SD-WAN rules. Either we call them a health monitor. We will do these all these things practically. So up to this point is clear to you yeah that basically SD-WAN and Fortinet is multi-connection WAN solution where we combine physical interfaces to create a virtual interface and dynamically based on jitter, packet loss and latency, they will change the path to provide us the best path to reach to the destination. So we call them SD-WAN and Fortinet software defined approach for wide area network. One thing more, those interfaces which we use in SD-WAN, it shouldn't be used somewhere else individually. If those interfaces are used somewhere, you need to remove them from there to put them in SD-WAN. In the lab, we will do that one as well and I will show you how we can 
even if you have a old thing so you can migrate to sdvn as well we will do that one as well there isn't a good option and fortinet to do that one as well for you okay so this was introduction to sdvn software defined approach forward area network now what is the advantages why we are using this sdvn so basically this is dvn what they will do so because they combine the interfaces and work as a one logical interface so they will select the best path for you it means they will provide you reliability low latency and better performance high speed connection and they will select dynamically the best path to reach to destination it can be internet it can be an mpls link and it can be any other link to reach to your location it can be your branches and it can be internet now let's move there is sd wan zone again all these things we will discuss in detail and also we will do practically but here just introduction to sd wan zone so now we know sd wan sd wan is divided in zone you need to create a zone first and then you need to put member interfaces to that zone so it's like a vlan where we put the interfaces so it's like a group where we put the users so first you need to create a zone and you can create as many you want you can create zones and later on you can put the interfaces those interfaces can be physical interfaces and it can be a logical interfaces whatever but you can put them those interfaces and that zone to work together so one thing is clear that we can use interfaces only in one zone not more than one zone it can belong to like a interface you know if you know cisco so when we create a vlan so you can put the interfaces in one vlan only if you say vlan 10 so it will go to vlan 10 but if you say switch port access vlan 20 so it will move to vlan 20 you cannot put one interface in two vlans it's not possible yeah there is one case i'm not going in that one like a voice and data but just for understanding purpose so that you know what is sd wan zone and later on what we can do then you can use this zone to call them in your policy and your routing so you cannot call your individual interface in the policy then if you want there is a another way to call them but basically right directly no so now we know what is sd wan zone and why we need this one so it means just like a group up the interfaces it can be more than one interface and it can be one interface you can create a smaller sd wan zone and you can create a large sd wan zone even there is a by default one zone with the name virtual wan link and i already told you you cannot put one member in multiple zone so like this one we create a sd wan with the name sd wan and we put these two interfaces to work together so it's like a group and these are the member interfaces so we have isp link 1 and 2 and we create a sd wan so they can work so it's like a this google map which we are discussing so there is two path to reach this one so the one which is the best one so it will switch over automatically to that one based on your configuration which we will do practically okay so this thing is clear sd wan zone let's move advantages i already told you it will remove the high cost and low speed connection 
which going to your destination and will provide you the best path to reach to the destination. Provide you flexibility, reliability. And it will check based on the latency, jitter and delay and they will decide the best path and they will switch over to that link automatically. So SD-WAN can provide you lower latency, better performance and reliability. And it can be your public network and it can be your MPLS or whatever your link to reach to your destination. It can be VPN. Let's move SD-WAN member. So basically member are also called the interfaces, the port, the physical port, the logical port, the interfaces, which you need to put them in SD-WAN zone, we call them SD-WAN member. Means they are the member of that VLAN. Like the interfaces when you put switch port access VLAN 10, so that interface is called member of that VLAN. So here that interface is called, which you put them in a zone, we call them a member. And that interface can be a logical, like a VPN. We will do that one as well. It can be a logical interface and it can be a physical interface. It can be a physical or logical link. So we call them SD-WAN member. So this point is clear, yeah? So this was just introduction to SD-WAN and Fortinet. Okay, so in next video, we will discuss SD-WAN components.